Won't you even greet her parents? <laughs> yes, good day to you. And I'm here to, to, uh, to see how Lydia is because last night she wasn't um, feeling too well. That's fine, Vladimir. We might be from a different generation, but we're not stupid. We understand that young people have their needs. Are you leaving, honey? I am. Uh, hello, sir. Hello, Vladimir. You see? I can't even have breakfast in peace. <laughs> You'll get to eat in peace when you're retired. Invite Vladimir. Have breakfast together. How do we do that? Like kings. On a personal car with a chauffeur. Your father-in-law was invited to the show as a member of the commission. <laughs> as a fashion expert. Why are you standing there? Are you frozen? Move, move. Just don't forget your shoes. Vladimir, look after him. Lydia? 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 Mom. What a loud voice. Just let me sleep. No way, no way. Answer me. Dad and I saw Vladimir. Did he come from your room? No. He came here to rob us. He wanted to steal Dad's old transistor receiver. Mom, obviously he came from my room. Can I please go back to sleep now? Lydia, what happened between you two? Mm. So tell me, did something happen? <sighs> Lydia. I won't leave, you know me. Give me an answer. Yes, it happened. Now please leave. That's good news. That's great news. That's awesome. Good girl. Yes. What a good girl. That's the only way to keep a man. The only way. And well, I mean, now you'll show him. You better hold on, Vladimir. Now that scoundrel has no way out. Will you I ever be allowed to sleep in uh, this house or not? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, uh, please go back yes. to the kitchen. And continue yes. scheming there. Let okay, me Okay, dearie, go to sleep. Everything's fine. На небе выткал золотой осенней ниткой Я послал тебе открытку В ней два слова, не грусти Но ползла она улиткой И плыла по морю рыбкой Не спеша, не слишком прытка Я и сам уже в пути Здравствуй, счастье В белом платьице простом Здравствуй, счастье Я прошу лишь об одном Здравствуй, счастье Ты прости меня, прости Здравствуй, счастье Больше не грусти Delicate Matters, Episode 7 Good day, comrades. We live in a great country. Make it shorter, please. Shorter. Where's Vladimir? He promised to help with the Pull bread. her hair back in a bun. Uh-huh. This should be higher. Meaning what? Literally higher. It can't go any higher. <laughs> Vladimir said that for the show, it can't be higher. Mm -hmm. When you're in Paris, you can do whatever you want. Why are you so quiet? You're the one who has to show your legs. Sorry, dear. My job is to stand here quietly. Vladimir, why are you late? We're all drowning here. Then come up to get more air. I forbid cutting the models. They're not that many. Vladimir, can we talk? Later, okay, later. Constantine? Constantine, show me the men's collection. I have a word here that makes no sense, so we need to change it. Miss Nina, there's mm -hmm. a situation with the men's collection. You have to wait a bit more. And where mm -hmm. are the friends you promised? 
No one's coming. Anatoly couldn't make it. That's great. That's great, Tatiana. You just couldn't resist, could you? So what? Are we going to showcase the ladies then? Here. It's time. We're starting. Thanks to you. So what do we do now? Okay, I think we're here. Uh-huh. No way. <laughs> right. Hello, uh -huh. guys. Well then, designers. Yeah. Help has arrived. <laughs> no way. Anatoly, thank you so much for coming over today. No, nothing will happen between us. Well, I didn't come here for you. I came for the team. He called me yesterday and explained everything. We have a phone at our place and, mm, you know that. Yes, the war hero, I remember. That's right. Tatiana, this might come as a surprise, but the world doesn't revolve around you. Anatoly, I respect you. You're performing a heroic deed, but now you should undress. Yes, yes. You too, comrades. This way, this way. Good day, comrades. You know we live in a great country. One that has saved this planet and defeated fascism. But in some areas, we're still considered to be behind the times and even look to the West as prime example. It's time to change that. So we invited you here in order to show you the Soviet fashion is in no way worse than the capitalist one. In fact, it's way better because the first man in space was from the Soviet Union. And we will be the pioneers of the fashion of the future. So now, enjoy the show. Exhibit one. This style reminds you of a light morning mist in the spaceport. It gives us the feeling of space travel. Something that's great and immeasurable. Please take a closer look at the silhouette, which resembles a rocket. As you can Hello. see, silver vinyl Where are you going? Please stop. You see, my daughter is here. This Her is name a private is event. Tatiana, Tatiana, Tatiana I understand. Hospitalizes the first then buy tickets and come on a different day. Not today. You but listen, you see, I promised shy. I'd be here for her. You have to understand that this is a private show. And so our showcase will start to build cosmic speed now. For our finale, here's the communist galaxy in honor of our Soviet engineers. Excuse me, the male models are up next. Oh. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, forgive me. Um, this is not the last exhibit. Up next is the presentation of the men's collection. Ma, there she please. is, she's on stage, Ma. there. <laughs> That's my girl. And so, my dearest dwellers from Mars, Make your way to the catwalk. Hey, what's wrong? Everyone's waiting for you, and here they are, our men. Don't be afraid. Come on, come on. Don't be shy. Let's see. What do they you have just wait here? for me, all right? Oh, Worst case scenario, go to the studio. Wearing. Studio, all right? Okay. Okay. Bye. Good luck, my dear. <laughs> be brave. Don't be shy. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. How brave. We'll make our way into orbit now. This is how the working class of the future will look like. Here they are, our pride. <laughs> As you can see, um, gravity is very different in Mars. And that's why the movement of our pioneers seemed to be very different. But it was really planned to look this way. Now move forward and conquer Mars. <gasps> And now you're hearing some cosmic noise.
Honorable Commission, that signals the end of our cosmic showcase. <laughs> when will this end? It will never end. It will never end. Running away like a coward? What? What do you mean? I don't know you. Let me pass, okay? Don't play the fool. Don't you think you owe me an explanation? I don't owe you anything. I feel like you do, and not just me. You ruined so many lives. You betrayed my husband and his trust as well. You ruined my daughter's life. Alexandra, I already said this in court, but I'll repeat it here. I know that I treated your husband well as a friend and as a professional. But he committed a crime, and was justly sent to prison. Do you even believe what you are saying? And you, Alexandra, are no god for me to confess any of that to you. <laughs> you almost fell off of the stage. How on earth are you even able to walk in this? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Anatoly, hey. Thank you so very much. You really saved us. Always happy to help a decent person. Hmm? See you. Don't be a stranger. Goodbye. Mom! <laughs> oh, Mr. Vladimir saved us all. Well done. <laughs> that was truly well done, Vladimir. He rarely praises anyone but himself. Oh, stop it. You can thank me when we're out <laughs> shopping in Paris. Tatiana, can I steal you for a second? So I can't congratulate you? Oh, I'm beat. And the winner demands what? his prize. <clears throat> Are you all right? Yes. It's crazy. If it weren't for you, those metro builders would have brought us down hard. Maybe even dug up a tunnel. <laughs> so where did you run off last night? I didn't. I only saw how you were kissing him. Seriously? He forced himself on me. I was resisting. In situations like that, you need to rescue, not run away. So you and he weren't... Of course not! I don't need that at all. Why is the hall empty? Is it over? Hello there. Hello. Picking up an order? No, I'm here for Vladimir. Lydia, we're working. Later, okay? All right then, my busy boy. Could I have a moment with you? Uh, a few days ago, I came over and bought a pair of French underwear. The hook was so uncomfortable, it was just awful. Vladimir could barely unhook it. Uh, can we pick out something similar to it, but with a clasp that's easier to unhook? Forgive me, but Tatiana has to finish her work. I'll try to help you pick out a new pair. Let's look at the catalogs. Constantine, get Tatiana. There's a lot of work to be done at the atelier. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go then. Mr. Vladimir, why don't you go to Gladkov? If they call, they'll ask for him. Come along now. The Metro guys are nice and all. They saved us, but this needs... needs dry cleaning. T Tatiana, easy. Careful, careful. You're crazy. This is vinyl. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Oh, oh, it's all right. I know. It's about that Vladimir. 
But don't take it out on the vinyl. <sighs> anyway, know this. If ever you get sent to... to Paris, remember that Parisian vinyl will not tolerate this. It's gonna crack. You're gonna need to be careful, calm when handling it. Gentle. How many times do I have to say this? I don't need it. Paris. Who is it? Ah, Vladimir, you're here. Come in, is there anything I can do for you? Did they call? Of course they did. And I would like to be the first person to congratulate you. So they liked it? Yes, very much so. So, are we good? We're going? Of course you are, obviously. But first, there are a couple of conditions that you need to Whatever know. they want, tell me. You have to write this down, all right, Vladimir? For a few conditions? Well, it's just a couple, but don't rely on your memory. Anyway, take down notes. Less sparkles. Remove bright and brash details. Those aren't very sub yet. And then they also asked to get rid of the strange material. What was it? Vinyl? Vinyl and lurex. Yes, get rid of them. Use common and regular materials like wool and cotton. And the fit is to be changed to follow a more standard one. And I beg of you, enough of this provocative makeup, please. The rest is very good. Congratulations, Paris awaits. So what will be left of the collection? You're asking for the removal of the whole concept. That's not it. Removing the cosmic theme is strictly forbidden. The cosmos is a phenomenal theme, like the pioneers. But you suggest that we change it to something gray and dull, am I right? But why would it be dull? The style, the cut, they're all very good. Just slight changes. I don't know what else you want. Nothing more. Forgive me, I need to leave now to destroy the cosmos. Do you think they'll call soon? Are you kidding? The show ended an hour ago. Well... Just about over an hour ago. Did you see the watch Stepan gave me? He sent it through his driver. Cheka. Mmm. A watch. That's a bad sign. I think that face of yours is a bad sign. So let's say only one of us is going to be permitted to travel. And let's say... They'll include something like Constantine so-and-so. Who will go then? By the way, they can actually give two invitations. And one of them will be mine. And what exactly do you mean? Well, you see, Paris... Paris needs ladies like me. Like what? Problematic? <laughs> Very funny. I can be like that too, my dear Natalia. We'll choose by voting. If it comes to that, it's only fair. Tatiana. Join us. Come on, um, cast your vote. Don't be quiet. I have news for you. Again? The commission loved it. But they want us to make a few alterations. Okay, but for clarity's sake, by a few alterations, you actually mean several hundred, right? Yeah. They want something simpler, more natural, like cotton and wool. They don't like the... Style. Colors. Vinyl. Well, screw them then. Miss Nina, that was just... Wow! What? Are Soviet people not allowed to speak the truth? The Parisians would have showered us with braces. And they want... simpler, plainer. They are so boring. It's okay. What matters is that we know the real value of our collection. Listen, Vladimir. We'll alter nothing. So screw that, Paris! Wow, Miss Nina, bravo.
help yourself, it's Blackberry. At first, I was really worried that the collar wouldn't work. Huh? No, I think it works very well. Uh. Have you been knitting long? My whole life. I never have. I only sew. <laughs> mom? The wayward <laughs> daughter's here. So you left your mom in the middle of Moscow. I looked mm -hmm. for you, but they said you already left. Yes, I wanted to come in. You want tea? But there was a guard station at the door. You're on your fifth cup. So I cup. decided to leave. What tea? Don't worry about Can't you it. even I'm read fine. your room? I Let's mean, go now. I you now, aren't I? Excuse me. Okay. We're leaving now. Thank you so much. Thank you, too. Do you want tea? No, I don't want anything. What's with the city, anyway? You've been here two weeks, and you want nothing, huh? It's just another city. That's not true. An angry city's no good. And the people will prove that. What, are you tired? I am. All right, then it's time to go home. Maybe you're right. Will we make the evening train? You mean right now? Nothing's keeping me here anymore. Okay, just wait. No. Yes. Yes. What is going on here? Shh. Oh, so I can't even say a word in my own house. What do you mean they don't fit? What if we just get extra chairs? Why must I teach you everything? And you call yourself a classy restaurant? Oh, they hang up on me. Don't you want your only daughter to get married? So, you need a matchmaker now. We're fine. I spoke to the registry and rented Prague. I know we did, but the seats there aren't enough. Not enough? Their hall can fit 70 people. And we have a hundred guests! So where are they going to sit? Don't tell me in the toilet! Listen... I think we should ditch the restaurant entirely. Seriously, it's so beneath us. So why don't you just go and elope, and we'll set the table ourselves. Dad! Write and use newspaper as a tablecloth and serve cod! This is a treat to all of you because we don't want to spend for our own daughter. Enough, enough, enough. I'm just throwing it out as an option here. I mean, after all, a wedding is not about the food we serve, but about their <laughs> happiness. Whoa. No, 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 no. You know that those tricks never work on me. My gosh. <laughs> What? Are you happy now? <laughs> Just look at what you did to your own daughter! Well, look at what you do to me! All right now! So who do I call? Prague, you should talk to them. Thank you, Dad. We need a guaranteed hundred seats. That's the minimum. Hello. Good day. Hello. Oh, Tatiana. Is that you? Oh. Yes, Auntie, it's me. Oh, my dearest girl. <laughs> Hello to you. Oh, you're unrecognizable. I thought you were some city slicker. Oh, really? Wow. Moscow men must be all over you now, am I right? Uh, oh, mm. but why are you here? Tell me. Because you should be in class now. I came to visit my mother. I wanted to help her. Oh, well, that is good. Studying can wait then. You only have one mother, you agree? <laughs> We're off, Valentina. We're very tired. Yes, go ahead, girls. Go and get some rest. It's good you're here. All the best. Take care All now. All the best to you.
Hello? Good day. Please call Tatiana, thanks. As soon as Tatiana left, everyone's asking for her. She left, but she was at work yesterday. Yesterday at work, but today she's gone. Young man, do I really have to repeat myself to you? I don't get paid for that kind of nonsense. Hold on, do you know where she went? Well, she went back home, because her very own mother took her. She went home, huh? So, do you have an address? Yes, but what's it to you? I want to report on how in her dormitory, the rules and regulations are constantly broken. How many students climb through windows and the like? How the Commandant always sleeps on the job? Don't threaten me. It won't work. Do you have a pen? Write down the address, you damn phone demon. Vladimirsky region. Korov city. It's in Soviet street. House is number 14. And I don't know the apartment number. Find it yourself. <laughs> and the problem is that they serve it under the guise of modern art. Listen, I need to tell you something. Yes, I need to say it. And on the day I decided to be happy despite what's going on. Spit it out. What happened now? Just know, it happened again. Now please, don't be mad because it's no one's fault. Anyway, we were denied Paris once again. As if anyone believed that you would actually go. I will create a Paris for you. Gilles, mon ami. This is the woman I wanted to introduce you to for the longest time. Enchanté. Mm. The amazing ah, Natalia. Gleb uh, didn't lie. Yeah? And what did he say about me? That Napoleon invaded Russia for you, but he was two centuries old. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you two. Yes. Get to know each other. And do it well, okay? Let's drink. Young man, come here. Me? Yes, yes, you. Come here for a second. Tell me what you're spying on. Good evening. Oh, what is your business here? Looking for Tatiana. Ah, I already knew that you were from Moscow when I saw you. But why do you say that, ma'am? Well, it's just that you look exactly like my cow does. You lead her out of the stall, and she instantly looks terrified and uncomfortable. <laughs> well, no one has ever said that to me before. Uh, they won't say it. The place you're looking for is that one there. Do you see that? It's that one. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'll go on ahead. Go now. Wait. Don't you hurt our dear Tatiana. I will not. How do you like Gilles? For a capitalist, he's not bad. Why now? I'm asking you for a little help here. You see, Gilles works at the embassy. And if we get his support, that man will take my paintings to the West. You know, to the right people. And then I will be untouchable. And we will get to Paris together, without needing your studio. So you want to get his support? Is that what you call it? For me, too. <sighs> you need to understand that sooner or later I'll be arrested. Prison or hospital, I don't really know. But I'd rather have that than become a snitch. <laughs> My dearest guests, it's great with you, but better without. Thank you for coming and not breaking anything. Gleb will walk all of you to the taxi stop. And Let's you, Jill, mind sticking back? Thanks again. Didn't you say you wanted to examine his works in a quiet environment? Yeah, I hope you had fun. I'll see you around. <laughs> Do you feel cold? Yeah. <laughs> Just a tad chilly. What's that? I do not know what the word means, sorry. It's okay. You want to see his work, didn't you? <sighs> well, they are 
definitely good. But I want to share my critique, if that is okay. Yes, it's fine. This one over here. There's not enough bright colors in the canvas. No joy in it. It looks like it's waiting for someone to make it alive. It really needs to relax. Feel the power of color. Tatiana, it's for you, dear. Tell us, Vladimir, are you staying here long? Hmm? It depends on you. Hmm. So are you. Bored with Moscow now? Uh, Tatiana described you differently. Mom, I'll handle this. Listen, if you go further down the road, there's a great hotel. It will meet your standards. Perhaps if it's not too late. No, it's not too late. Even if it is, there's always a bench. The nights are warm lately. Uh, and why did you leave your girlfriend Lydia in Moscow? I bet she is very worried now, hmm? Mom, I said I'll handle it. Seriously, Vladimir, you should have brought her. We love having guests here. I'm fully aware on how I appear in your eyes right now. And it's my fault. But I truly need Tatiana, so I am here. Lydia will not bother us again. Uh, interesting. Is she aware that she will not bother you again? Or maybe we should send her a telegram first thing in the morning? Mom! What? You are being a silly child, and you want me, your mother, to be silent? If, if your father were here, I know that he would have thrown this young man out. Vladimir and I are leaving. In the cold? It's not cold. Vladimir, I have to ask a small favor. Could you leave us alone for a few minutes? Yes, I'll wait outside. He's not one of us. He will play for a bit and go back, and you'll suffer for it. Mom, let me tell you that over the last two weeks, everyone's been telling me how to live, except all of them are unhappy. How can you all know what is right? Can I for once just make my own decision on what I feel is right? Hey, man. Hello? I'm going now. Okay. Talk to you soon. I had a great time. Uh-huh. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Look what I got here. Bought it from a cab driver. So expensive. They're the ones who are making real money nowadays. I think we have something to celebrate tonight. Gilles is happy. Why the hell are you so quiet, huh? Look, you said it yourself. That you like him. <laughs> Admit it, that you really like all this. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't have slept with him. But you... <clears throat> you got one hell of a kick out of it. 
and help me out. Got a kick? You know, a whore is always a whore. Is what you said really true? You think I came all the way here to lie? I don't know, Vladimir. I mean, your reputation is far from stellar. Don't listen to gossip. How is this about that? I see you with my own eyes. In just... two weeks, you destroyed my heart like a plow passing through soil. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. It was my life. Parties, friends, empty people. I was told to get married, I figured why not. Suddenly I met you. <laughs> what now? I'm daring you to run after me. <laughs> What's this? Uh, this is my one bedroom apartment. It has nothing, not even water, but it's mine. I came here a lot of times after my dad was taken away. Like you to the river. You never told me what happened to him. A textile factory caught fire years ago. People died. Inspectors from the top were sent. They learned it was underperforming. My dad was the director. And they, of course... They decided that he was stealing. How long ago? I was just six. Oh. A long time ago. Yeah. Sabotage. Anti-Sovietism. Blamed him for the fire as well. And covering his tracks. So, if your father were here, he'd most certainly throw me out of your house, correct? Most certainly. Then listen well, Tatiana. Will you marry me? <laughs> and where's the ring? Darn it. <laughs> there. <laughs> I have no clue how it ended up there. Will that do? It's not bad at all. Now that you are right, you don't care about her girl's happiness. All you think about is you. I care a lot, and that's the reason I told you that! Did something happen? 
We're just here deciding what to wear for the wedding. She wants a blue dress, and I told her not blue because she might steal your thunder. Vladimir's gone missing. Godsent man, huh? Mom, I bet you never suffered this much. Yeah? Tell me. Where is he? No one knows. Zotov is trying to find out. He's trying? You tell me everyone is trying, but I'm in this all alone. You're all alone? Mom, in this stupid situation, an idiotic situation, don't you see? Listen to me, my dear. My transfer to the Ministry is now complete. Zotov... He won't back out. Why don't we cancel the wedding? Why torture ourselves? Listen up. On Saturday? I'm getting married. To Vladimir or not to him? That's his choice now. Your mom's at work? Do you miss her? Don't worry, she'll be back soon. She works half days. You want to sleep? No, but I am hungry. Mm, I'll find something for you. I have to tell you that you just cannot allow things to continue in this manner. This has to end. Yes, this has to end right away. What are you doing here? I killed him. Why are you sulking by the door? You should come in. Anyway, he knows that you can come in anytime you want. And here's what you asked for. Oh, thanks a lot. And what news do we have about our dear Vladimir's disappearance? I asked around the studio, no one really knows. Likely went to Tatiana. Tatiana. So he left everything to visit that girl. Why didn't I think of that? Look, am I free to go now? What's that? Freedom will kill a person. You will die like a worm exposed to the bright sun. That a quote? I say that to rats and snitches like you. It's a joke. It's Maxim Gorky. Well then, now that this file is in my possession, only thing left to do is apologize to you since you're not the organizer of this gang. What gang? Yes, a gang. What else is it? There's clearly a criminal element. They're establishing a contraband channel. I see they're also transferring abroad important government resources. So you just need to sign one paper and you're free. Denunciated? 
No, not really. A statement. Testimony. And don't be so worried. Take it easy. There's good news, too. Now that it's clear that you're innocent, then nothing will stop your transfer to the modeling agency. So just hold on. And believe that your future will be very bright. And after the liver puncture, can you please take some more blood for the tests? How do you feel about needles and blood? You're fine with them? You're doing well. A man must be a fighter. You understand? I want you to make yourself as comfortable as you can. I will not let you out of here until I cure your STDs and other symptoms of your dissolute lifestyle. But I, I just bumped my head. Yes, 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 but I'm the doctor. I know better. So, to lessen the questions, let me tell you that I suspect that you currently have the Indian variant of the E-virus. You know that? Doesn't matter. I'll go now. Are you certain that he'll be all right? You sound like a broken record. He will just be fine, that club of yours. He'll be looked after by the best doctor? The last man in Moscow who sees you as a human being. Come on, throw it away. Toss it, I want to see it. You made your choice, you know. We can admit him somewhere, since he's an official. Maybe the artists' union. Did you come up with that yourself? Yes. There. It's done. This is no longer your home. You promised to show me your work. They're tucked away. Oh yeah, in this big <laughs> palace. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You've been dreaming a while. It's amazing. <clears throat> You're a Moscow aristocrat and I'm no one. Or maybe I'm just stupid to have trusted you again. <laughs> I think... What is it? That I love you. What? I love you. This is from National Security. We have a warrant for your arrest. Please cooperate with us. One more look, gentlemen. That was really quick. What's the reason you have to look at it again? Just wanted to know what type of transport will you actually be using? What class and on whose orders those things? We aren't here for you. Tatiana Nazarov, let's go. What is this? What is she being accused of? You let her go! Why are you taking her? Show me the order! You have no Where right to take her! Taking you? Don't fight them! Don't tell them anything! And don't sign anything! <laughs> 